It being 6.30, I will call the planning board meeting to order on June 2nd, 2021. Uh, we are meeting electronically under the governor's emergency order number 12 that waived the physical location requirement of public officials at a public meeting. And um, anyone can join our uh, Zoom connection. All of the information for joining the meeting was on the agenda and on the town website. And uh, roll call first, Andy Fitch. Present. Kathleen DeWolf. Present. Paula Hancock. Present. And Mardine Badger, present. Uh, I'm going to skip over the mi minutes. We'll do that after our, our um, case tonight. And we are here tonight primarily for the site plan review number 2021-04. It's an app, it will be the acceptance of an application and public hearing for a um, development project at 14 Winter Street by Commerce Properties, LLC and tax map lot number 17-5-8. And the meeting and the public hearing was posted not only on the website, but in the Laconia Daily Sun. Uh, Butters notices were sent out for the public hearing also as required by law. Um, first item we have to do is to accept the application. And I'll make a motion. Would... I'll make a motion to accept the application for 2021-04 as complete. Okay. And uh, for the public that that means that we find that it has sufficient information on the site plan uh, for us to make a considered decision on the project. And a second for that motion? I'll make that second. Okay. And roll call vote. Andy Fitch? Aye. Kathleen DeWolf? Aye. Paula Hancock? Aye. And Mardine Badger? Aye. Okay. So we have accepted the application as complete. And at this time at 632, I will open the public hearing. And just um, for a little background for members of the public that may be listening to this later on, uh, we earlier this evening at four o'clock, uh, we had posted a site walk at the location and uh, Andy, Paula, Kathleen and I were there with Tony Guyot. Uh, so he showed us around, we walked the site saw the locations of things. Um, John and Tony, uh, would either one of you or both would like to give us just a brief description of the project? Sure, happy to. And I'm sorry I couldn't be there for the site visit today. I would love to have, have been there. That's but, all right. <laughs> yeah. so, so the proposal is, is to uh, construct four single level, two unit accessible apartment buildings. This would be in the back of 14 winter. You know, the units would be uh, just over 750 square feet each. They'd be two bedrooms uh, over a, a, on a foundation. And the goal is to incorporate universal design features so they would be, be fully accessible. Um, and, uh, you know, these, I think it occupies in total, but you can see the plan there, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it adds, uh, I think when you combine it with the other buildings, it, covers about 9% of the, of the lot. We've tried to space them out uh, you know, in an attractive location with minimal disruption to the property. There's good access uh, down the driveway. All the utilities are in place. Uh, and uh, you, know, you can see on the plan where the, where the connections would, um, would run in terms of water and sewer and electric and so forth. But you know, the primary objective here is to add some uh, affordable, uh, accessible in-town uh, housing units. I don't know, Tony, anything else you wanna add? I think you covered it. What do you mean by universal design? 
Well, we'll have wide doorways, um, okay. you know, accessible switches, single level. Um, so the, the goal is to accommodate, you know, as, as any sort of tenant physical limitations or abilities um, to, you know, to make them as accessible as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just wanted to ask that question for the, again for the sake of the public who may be sure. listening. Um, just briefly, uh, let me point out some things on the plan. Winter Street is here, and the existing buildings on this lot are in the front part of this. There's a driveway uh, coming down into the lot. The new buildings are these that are marked in, outlined in pink. There are four duplexes down along the back side of the property. And a uh, proposed water line would run behind them and proposed buried power along the front. Uh, there are parking spaces, multiple parking spaces here, here, and down here. It laid out at 22 parking spaces. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's where the final measurements came out at. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, questions, comments from anyone, especially observations from our site walk this afternoon. No, the, so, so, uh, the site walk was very helpful. Um, um, the, the lot itself is quite interesting. Um, it is set back from the road quite a bit. So there's, there'll be um, privacy. Uh, the only thing that I have a question about since there, there will be a, um, extension of the driveway into it that for 91 uh 91a i'm okay uh nine oh you know uh 911 it will probably have to be a named street and these units will have to have numbers uh i i don't believe you can use the winter street address for these dwellings so well, all the other all the other that's something that can be worked out well, I mean, uh, but all the others, the existing apartments, how are those numbered? Yeah, are they, you, you, you would bring you couldn't it wouldn't be. Uh, it would go in order and these would be would not be. They would unless I don't know, A, B, C, D, it, E. Yeah, so it, at 10, 10 winter is, is numbered one through five, uh, 14 winter is numbered one through six. Okay. So we could continue that seven mm -hmm. and on, okay. or, or we could start fresh. I mean, you know, happy to do whatever works best for you know clearly identifying them. Yeah, and that you work out with whoever is responsible for the nine one one addresses. Yeah, yeah, that would be worked out. I just mentioned it because that might that might be posed. Uh, how would, these... it, would it be a a driveway or a more of a complex name? I, I, I don't know. That you would, probably could have it as a private street. What does I, that mean? I, um, like, you know, like say you wanted to call it, say, Millview, and that would be the name at the end of the, the driveway, would also be the name of, of say, the complex. So when they, in a 911, they would have to list it as Millview. Yeah. I don't know if it would I'm, be a street, correct? It yeah. would be a it'd be a private drive. And it's it's a it's a private driveway. <laughs> I'm not sure that I'm not sure that that's under our. No, uh, I I just site. no, yeah. I just thought I'd bring it up since everything else seems to be addressed in detail. That was the only thing that um, I had a question about. But with a with a private, be, yeah, that might be posed to you that you could be prepared to have a, a response to. Yep. Okay. And we had talked in the last meeting about, mm -hmm. you know, would we have a name and, and we certainly could, and I suppose we could put the name on the driveway. So it's clear. Um, I don't know if that's naming yeah. the driveway, but you know, yeah. just be clear where private, private. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Certainly have yeah. to do it that. It would be a private drive with the name on it would be the sign most likely. Yeah. We, we do try to use, you know, large prominent numbering, you know, for this very reason. So right. that emergency right. personnel yeah. and, and yeah. so, you know, we, we certainly would be doing that with these mm -hmm. units yeah. and, and, you know, we'd be happy to do something at the entrance to the driveway if that's yeah. also yeah. helpful. It's, it's, it's that may be something just to work out with the fire chief yeah. and building inspector. Yeah. yeah, that's. Yeah, it's okay. not in our purview, but. No, it I isn't. Can, no. But I can, you know, wear, kind of wear two hats in a way, just putting a little bug in your ear that um, if it's mentioned, you go, yep, yep, that's been brought to our attention and we know how we're going to manage it. So. Yep. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, I was also interested, uh, would you need any sort of uh, lighting to uh, mm. get people from Winter Street down the driveway to their dwellings at night? Oh, uh, that, that parking lot will have to be lit, correct? Okay. Yeah, that would be, it's, it's, it's too big of an open area not to light. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. Tony, we, we would certainly have lighting on the outside of the units, and there is something right. I'm trying to think, but we, if the power is underground, we wouldn't have poles, so, I, you know, no, we have to we, figure no. out how to do that. Yeah. yeah, we would have to loop off from the, the existing pole. Um, you're not talking a ton of lights there. You'd need one on that boundary line corner and probably one, yeah. at least one out on the, the 90 degree turn in the parking lot right there. Yeah. Um, that would probably sufficiently light it along with entrance lights coming to the building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you so, just don't yeah. you just don't want any lighting to interfere with the neighbors. No, right. it, there'll yeah. still be a considerable amount of trees left on that uphill side. Of oh this, yes, yes, this yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Andy, any comments? No, I think I think Tony did a good job of showing us the property today. Um, I do see that there is possibly an issue with sewer, but I'm sure they'll, they'll handle it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm com very comfortable with this. Okay. Um, let's stop sharing this for just a moment. Got someone coming in. Just a moment here. Welcome to the person who just joined us. It's me, Susan McLeod. Oh, Susan. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought it was. I thought it was going to be okay. <laughs> we were just talking about the um, the plan and. Um, the four of us did a site walk this afternoon. Um, and let me put it back up on the, on the screen. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, I, I was glad that we did walk down in there because what is misleading is when you look, just when you just look down the driveway, you see the line of trees here and you don't realize how much property there is behind mm. it. So it was very good to walk down there and see the proximate um, markings of where the buildings would be. And um, so there is a good deal of space down there. So I'm glad we did walk in there. Yes. Yeah. Um, the just a couple observations. Uh, you've got plenty of parking spaces because we require two per unit. You exceed that. Um, our minimum dwelling unit size is 750 square feet and your units do meet that um, requirement. Um, you've got plans for power, for water, sewer, everything in through there. Um, you're, going to, you're going to keep all the driveway area uh, gravel, is that correct? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you'll have good drainage there. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are you going to have it as you start to work on these units? Are you going to have any issues with as you're constructing things with drainage or erosion down 
on the slope behind the units. Yeah, uh, it'll be a silt fence put in for complete okay. construction there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just just because it, it's going into a to a, a bog down the bottom. Yes. It, yes. It, would be, it makes common sense to just put a silt fence up down over that bank a little ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't I don't see any problems. We're not really changing the slope of the land a whole no. lot below, to be honest with you. No. Um, as you saw today, it's 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 a pretty flat space to work with. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Susan, did you have any questions? No, I I didn't go on the site walk, but uh, I have driven by there every Monday and kind of peeked in. So. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it was no, I, as I said, it was very interesting to walk actually walk down in there. Yeah, it seems walk. like a, a really good use of the of the property. Yeah. It is, it is very much. And Tony, you said you talked to Steve Heath about emergency Steve access. About, yeah, about the fire apparatus. He said, they, he said, Tony, he said, you know better than that. They have what they call a 75 foot rule. He goes, we'll never pull in within 75 feet of a building anyhow. Um, that's just common practice for, for a fire truck, not to be that so close. They would stay up. They would stay up on he, the street. Exactly. He said, yeah. he said, worst case scenario, they might pull and straight in. He goes to the very beginning. He goes, but chances are it'll never leave the street side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he said it would have to be pretty bad to get, to bring a, a two, $3 million fire truck down into there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there's we're, we're plenty of space. Fit. There's plenty of space space for an ambulance or something yeah, to oh, yeah. into there. Yes. Enough room for their for yeah. A, yeah their rescue truck to go in there yes. easily. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Andy, did you have any questions or comments? No, as as I said, I'm very comfortable with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um Let's see. Is there anything else I need to deal with? And all of this, all of this construction is well within inside the setbacks. It does or it does nothing. Yeah, yeah. If you, nothing the only approaches thing that's on gonna, the setbacks. Yeah, the only thing is we go in with the sewer connection. The, the main the sewer main runs right through the um, the upper corner of your of the diagram you can see in the blue the, yes. the lines in there there's a whole lot of lines that are going uh yes east to west that's the sewer right away right there for the town of okay. going through there um other than okay. that you can see the 15 foot buffer is the second line around the property line mm -hmm. yes. yes our parking comes right starts at the 15 foot buffer so we don't have to cut the trees um mm -hmm. and john's other property that abuts it that's all trees in there and with yes that yes. little that little dog leg, and there's there's no intentions of cutting that out. So, right, right. I, I do believe that by the time it's all done, you might get a peekaboo glimpse of it down through Tom's back yard if you're really looking hard. Oh, but up, for the, up top for the most part, I don't think a car driving anywhere in the town of yeah. Ashton will know there's been anything done in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, Question for the planning board members. Are there any conditions that we need to consider when we um, vote on approval? I can't think of any. Okay. My, my um, only concern has already been addressed. Um, silt fencing is gonna be used. That should mm -hmm. be a condition. Um, yes. As long as that's yes. in place, we should be yes. good. Yeah, and another standard condition would be obtain all appropriate permits um, as, as for construction, building permits, et cetera. Um, one question I do have, there are, and I don't know the answer to it particularly, there, and we saw them, there are some test well uh, sites down there at the far end. Uh, do you have, do you know, or you might want to find out whether you have to, notify des or epa anyone like that if you're working near them i don't know that's um a question I, you might want to ask. I, I, I thought i would um 
run that through Tom Peterson and how he's the one that they're tied to. Okay. Those, those okay. Are, those are tied to the old garage at Tom that when there used to be a filling station there. Um, okay. Peter's place. So um, I have spoke to Tom. I know I know that the 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 time frame has run out on them. That I do know. Um, oh, but, okay. I, but I also know they came within the last three years because they're they're still on file and checked them. So okay, um, okay. As far as I knew, talking with Tom Peters, every one of them has been tested clean so far. So that's okay. a that's a positive. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what what kind of timeline are you looking at for this project? Yeah, that that was one of my questions. How long would we have? Um, you know, as you probably know, the current environment for building supplies, <laughs> either getting them or uh, getting them affordably, is is a bit challenging. Right. Um, Absolutely. So I, you know, I, I would love to obviously do you know keep going and do this as soon as we can, but I you know I think we'll have to. We'll have to plan around that, but how, how long would we have? That's what I was just going to look up. Um, does, does Susan have see. it on the? I believe the I've got head? it. I've got it right here. Okay. Approval of uh, approval of a site plan by the planning board shall be valid for one year from the date of approval, or for such time as the board may designate at the time of the approval. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can so we can extend it. We can adjust that. We could adjust it now, or you could come back and just request an extension a year from now. Um, I mean, if you would consider a longer term, that that would be terrific. I, you know, Tony, we we've talked about trying yeah. to do some site work and get prepared and get started, which I would love to do. But mm -hmm. you know, it may be that uh, depending on on what the market looks like for materials. You know, we, we may need more time than that. Yeah. I mean, we, we would like to, to get the site prepared, um, parking in, obviously, and as much as we can get done without running into these extravagant costs that are seem right. to be happening these days. For, you know, it's, right. it's out of control. Yeah. So I, I, um, would, I would like to think that, that it would be, I don't forecast it from what I hear. The building industry turning around because lumber's bought on futures and the, the price we're paying now is what was bought two months ago. So chances are yeah. we're looking at probably dead of winter before prices start to move. And um, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody wants to dig a hole in pour concrete for dead of winter. If we can help us. <laughs> so I, I, I would like to think that you, you would want to give it six months or a year. I would do it right now because I don't. I think it's it's a minimum of six months. Before, before you even start, day. before you start construction. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm thinking maybe, maybe the initial site plan approval, like for 18 months, would that give you a yeah. reasonable time to get things going? Yeah, I think that's that fair enough to, to see where the market's okay. going with the materials right and now. And you can always, you can always come back and um, ask for an extension. We've done that with others. Yeah. So okay. what, is, what is a commercial building permit time frame these days? I know you guys recently changed that, the time frame for building. Once oh, it's, once um, it's for permits? I Susan, yeah, I didn't know if Susan could answer that. Um, well, it, it's still, you have, you have six months to start the work. Start. Correct. Yeah. And 18 months to completion okay, for so the, ex the exterior. Yeah. Okay. So right. when you're really ready to roll with the um, the, with the construction, the that's when you go and talk to Scott. Yeah, and go get the building permits for the building and okay. all that. Yeah. 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 Um, would we be able to do them in phases if that made sense? You know, two at a time or one and then another one? Where's the sure. expectation? Yes. yes. I, okay. I'm sure that would, yes, that would be good. Okay. Um, obviously, if you were to make any major change on your layout, if you were to decide you're only going to do three and you want them spaced further apart, if if you make some major changes in your your layout, just come back and and things can be amended also. 
Yep. But a phased phased construction would be would be viable also. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, okay. Um, any other questions? Anybody comments concerns? Okay, I will close the public hearing at this point. And now I will accept a motion to approve or not approve the site plan. Make a motion to approve the site plan that's been presented. I'll second. Okay. Um, and conditions. And you mentioned um, salt fencing. Yeah. Um, and and or erosion. other any, erosion control. Erosion control. Yeah. Appropriate erosion control. Okay. Such as silt silt fencing. Okay. Um. Um, what are they going to do with their spoils? Are they going to leave them on site or haul it away? Mm -hmm. Nothing. I I mean, stumps and stumps will be removed. Okay. Um, as far yeah. as the loam and stuff, yeah. it'll stay. It'll stay on site. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, I don't. I don't foresee. There's one big boulder on the ground from the sewer line construction out in the back corner there. So I'm. I'm hoping that's the only one that's in sight. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and do we want to make this site plan approval for 18 months? I, I'm agreeable to that. Okay. Andy, you agreeable? Yeah, I'm, I'm agreeable to 18 months. I'm kind of wondering if we shouldn't give them Two years. Two years. Um, this maybe? is this okay. is going to be a tough nut to crack here, uh, with the current conditions, with the pricing of lumber, concrete sky high. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think okay. we might want to give them two years um, you can, for you uh, guys to kick around. Okay, we could amend that to the uh, motion. Mm -hmm. Add that to the motion. Yeah. Go go for two years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the motion is to approve the site plan uh, with the condition uh, to approve the site plan for a tw uh, two year period. Um, obviously, if things change and you need to uh, extend that, as I said, you just come back and ask for an extension. We have done that before. Um, and also with the condition that appropriate erosion control methods just such as silt fencing are used. Um, any other conditions? Is that it? Okay, vote, roll call vote, Andy Fitch. Uh, Martine, I just, just thought yes. of something. Okay, yeah. Um, the DES wells. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think maybe we should be cognizant of that i think maybe we should make a condition that des approve of the placement of that fourth building because that is pretty close to those wells and maybe that'll maybe at this this point because they are out of term maybe they will the eliminate force. them yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That okay. Would... But I think that should okay. be a condition. I think they should get okay. DES approval for that. Okay. That takes the. Yeah. That takes it off of our backs. Okay. Okay. And it gives you, Tony, and John, opportunity to have that discussion with DES, and to figure out exactly what status those are in. Yeah. Yeah, and we can have them. Okay. We'll have them produce it for the town records, I presume. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll have the DES produce the paperwork for the town records. Yes, yes. that would be just, good. Just, that just so good. it does it does eliminate mm -hmm. you from any part of the wells. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. 
Well, you know, at least okay. you're not digging. You're not digging. You know, well, drink wells for yeah. drinking water or <laughs> installing <laughs> septic <laughs> systems. So, the yeah. hopefully the disturbance in that area will be minimal. But It'll be minimal. Yeah. I, I I don't quite know how how to handle those things. And I, I suppose it'd be nice to know, you know, the eight, when they were put in, how often they were monitored for your own peace of mind. Um, I know there's someone. I know, I know Tom Peters has all the paperwork for him. Oh, okay. good. Okay. As a, as a, okay. As a, as a, as a well, you know, it, if, it'd be nice that, you know, if you could provide the planning board copies so we can put it in your yep. file. Nope. And we, yeah. we should, because if they would, if they're happy to, to, to eliminate the wells would be even mm -hmm. better. Yeah. 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 While, okay. while they have a chance and before anything's there and it gets hard, um, you know, maybe they'll be happy to come in and, 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 and pull them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because their, their past term and the tank is gone. I was there the day the tank left. <laughs> I can't picture mm -hmm. that they need to. Yeah, I, I can't continue. picture that they need to continue the service of those wells. Right, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that. Okay, so we've got the erosion control as in silt fencing uh, to your term and uh, get DES uh, approval and the placement of your building in relation to those two test wells done at the end yeah okay so a vote andy aye paula aye kathleen aye and mardine aye okay so things are approved we will get the uh written notice of decision out to you right away and good luck uh we're ex i think we're excited to see this as it comes to fruition yeah. Great. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Now let's um, go back and do the minutes. We skipped over those. Let me pull those. Okay. Do you want me to stay on or should I drop off? Um, I think you I think we're all set with you. <laughs> okay, great. Rest Thanks so much. The evening is yours. <laughs> if you yeah, would thanks. like to listen, that you're free to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but thank you so thank much. Thank you very much welcome. for your information. Bye bye. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay. The minutes that we skipped over at the beginning. Okay, any more changes that we need to make? Any questions about the minutes? I'll make a motion then to accept the draft minutes as amended of Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Okay. A I'll second. second. Okay. Any other comments, changes? Okay, roll call vote, Andy. Aye. Paula. Aye. Kathleen. Aye. And Mardine, aye. Okay, those are approved. Um, we looked at last meeting, we looked briefly at that letter to go out to new businesses. Let me get that up on the screen. Okay. I moved things around a little bit, but really didn't change. I made a, a few, the one you've got on the screen right now has a few places in red that I've added just today. So those are not on the draft that you've, that you've got right now. Um, I moved some things around. The last paragraph that we had 
about the uh, quote from the RSA, the purpose of site plan review, I moved up to the front. Okay. Um, and I split things out into paragraphs just so it's a little bit easier. Um, I added in the URL for the planning mm -hmm. board page on the website and the email address for the planning board for contact. Um, anything else we need to change on this? Susan, any, um, you, had, you were concerned about not losing that um, purpose of the site plan review. And I. Well, I yeah, my only it. comment was that I just copy and pasted it directly mm -hmm. from the site plan regulations. Yes. Which is probably yes. also based on the RSA that defines the planning board's authority for site plans. Yes. Right. So, right. That was the wording. If if yes. you want to make yes. it softer or or whatever else, that's up to you. But that's that was the origin of that particular. That's where it came from. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Paragraph. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's fine. I just moved it up to the top. Yeah, I um, I, I like it because that you know it explains who has the authority, what the authority mm -hmm. is. Yeah. And where you can find it to read yeah. yourself. Right. Paula, Andy, any other comments? No, I'm I'm comfortable with this. I'll make a motion that we accept this as standard procedure. I'll second that. Okay. And we've probably got a few places in mind for the yes. first recipients. <laughs> yes. Uh, that will fall uh, on the Susan to send those out. Yes, yes. And if, um, if you have any places that you can think of that should receive this letter, just email to the planning board email. Okay. We'll do it that way. Okay, uh, motion to accept this as standard procedure. Roll call, Kathleen? Aye. Paula? Aye. Andy? Aye. And Mardine, aye. So that, that's approved. Um, we got in the planning board email the other day, and I was wondering when this is going to come. Uh, Usually every year we get a survey from the Office of State Planning, uh, a survey for land use of, of uh, about our re land use regulations. And it got, because of everything this last year got delayed. So we now have received notice uh, just the other day that the survey is in place and has to be completed by June 30th. So what I will do, uh, and Susan will do, we'll send out the, the blank form and the last one that we did to everybody so you can see what it is. And um, a lot of it is just gathering information, what regulations we have, when they were last updated, uh, any special um, types of regulations we might have, such as we'll obviously we'll say that we've got an updated excavation regulation, mm -hmm. uh, various things like that. So it's very, um, it's a very factual type survey. It's not an opinion type of survey, but we'll get that out to everybody so you can see what it is. Um, it's probably been, so it's in what, probably a year and a half since we've done that. I think it Oh uh, Yeah, be. at least. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I don't, I remember, I know what you're talking about. I don't remember doing it, but. No. Yeah, it, it might have. We might have just given it to you, or uh, and you forward it. You know, you sent it in, in the name of the board. Well, the last one would have been when Caitlin Morse was with us. Ah, she did the last one, but it may be almost two years since that was done. You know um, what? Did she yeah. do it? Did she complete it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So we we you're have, right. We, 
we have a copy of what we last filled out and we've got a copy of the blank one. So we'll send that out to everybody so you can see what it is. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything about it, um, we'll let you know. Susan, any um, updates on anything? No, there, there was one email concerning the Farnham, which I, I went back and forth as to how to answer it. And with Scott's advice, I did tell the abutter that um, things were in process for, mm -hmm. um, for following up on the, the extent of the business that was present there. Yes. And that if, yeah. <laughs> because it, it basically would be pub, public knowledge at some point anyway. Um, Absolutely, yes. yes. Through 91A or whatever else, we can't, we can't uh, yeah. dance around it. So. No, no. And I do think, um, I think between planning board and Scott, a memo needs to be, written directly to the select board uh, based on what the RSA requires for a cease and desist order. Yeah, well, um, I'm, I'm gonna say for the RSA and for what's in knowing the territory, Scott mm -hmm. as code enforcement ha is empowered to do it himself. Yes, he uh, is, yes. He prefers to go through the selectmen primarily to make sure that it's vetted by legal. Okay. Um, as far as the planning board goes, we we forwarded what the conditions were. His inspection mm -hmm. found that they weren't met. We really don't right. have to provide anything further. No. I mean, the, the planning board has no further role in enforcement whatsoever. Right, right. So uh, we'll, we'll just make sure that all the proper information is provided for that letter or memo to be written. Yeah, we'll make sure he has all the appropriate information that he needs. Yeah. Yeah. So does that mean we gave him a conditional approval that is now off the table? The original approval was conditional, yes. Yeah. I didn't know if we had to yeah. do that in some formalized mat, you know, manner. No, I think we've got, I think we've got all the documentation okay. that's needed, I think. Yeah, so. I, I yeah. notice a decision outlined what the conditions were and gave him 30 days mm -hmm. and told him that yes, there would yes. be a follow-up inspection to see if they had been yeah, met. You're right. Mm -hmm. And when that so happened, the, yes. So the mm -hmm. report that says they have not been met therefore nullifies an approval because the conditions for that approval didn't happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So Right. Okay. Anything else, Susan? Um, I just, yeah. just want to review, number one, the, the process of, of minutes. Um, maybe I'm being too much about this, but I like that the file, that the official file on the computer for land use has all the amended versions. And mm -hmm. because at the moment, um, I don't have access to the cloud for the PDF um, Adobe software okay. to be okay. able to correct PDFs. Um, I need some kind of amended Word or Office version. Okay. Um, so that that because for instance, the the April twenty eighth minutes have to go into four separate case files. So mm -hmm. I need to print them out to to file them, and I prefer to print out the amended versions instead of the ones with the crossouts and the different colors and whatever else, so. We'll make sure that that's all squared away. Yeah, we'll take care of that. We will. Um, because that in, is... in the, yeah, because I also do save it as a PDF. So if anybody requests them, I never send out a Word version to anybody. I always send out a PDF. Anyone else, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. So we'll make sure that everything's ca uh, caught up on that. Um, I don't have anything else at this uh, point. Well, yeah, I guess my, my other comment Go too, ahead. in the past I've um, 
all board members ha have received both the, the username and the password to be able to go directly to the email anytime mm -hmm. you want. So right. on the occasion where something comes in late before a meeting, mm -hmm. I know some people do it anyway. They check before a meeting to see if anything pertinent has arrived late. Um, yeah. and, and although when anybody opens it, when it goes back, it's not bold anymore. So it looks like somebody has opened it. I generally keep track of all the ones that I have looked at and either downloaded or whatever else. So it's right. not a problem for everybody to be able to access that particular mailbox. Right. At any right. Time they no desire right. and download yeah. anything they want from it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the only thing we need to be cautious about is who answers emails. And I think the primary person to answer emails first in line would be Susan. Mm -hmm. probably, probably second in line would be me as the chair. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't view those emails yeah. as personal. Yeah. We have to, yeah. they, they're, they're a group email. So, mm -hmm. yeah. 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 If they're, if it's informational, that's one thing. If they're asking for a decision of any type, then it goes back to a the comment. board as a, yeah. a whole to discuss it and make right. a decision. Um, some, yeah. a lot of them are just informational. Yeah. Uh, and for some reason, land use has become the ask Ashland and answer any questions <laughs> about things that have nothing to do with land yeah. use. But we get them anyway. We forward them on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So keep that in your thought process, Andy, that once things start to, um, the new town manager settles in that the second floor is not the place to direct people to for matters that have, that we have, that the planning board has no, no authority over. You, you know, you're basically wasting people's time. Um, so that could be part of the training process as you get new staff members, what people's jobs are, what they, you know, what, positions are and for them to be cognizant of the other employees what their what their jobs are okay i will accept a motion to adjourn i'll make that motion second and we are adjourned <laughs>